It's been just under a week since depositors in Silicon Valley Bank started withdrawing funds from their accounts. That resulted in its eventual collapse just 24 hours later. In light of the collapse in Silicon Valley and New York, we wanted to look deeper into how your money is protected in mid-Missouri. ABC 17's Ethan Hines spoke with two banking professionals and found out more about the safeguards in place that banks have. The FDIC has programs in place to protect customers at banks to make sure their hard-earned money isn't lost. This is essentially a fail-safe for people to be able to access their money even if something drastic happened like the shutdown of a bank. Jackson Hathaway is the president of the Missouri Banking Association and told me how the banks in the Midwest are diverse in the loans given. You know, the most important thing to remember about Missouri banks is that we are well capitalized, we have strong liquidity, and we have very diversified banks. According to Hathaway, the banks that failed in New York and California this last weekend were focused on specific industries, something Missouri banks don't normally do. If you look at Missouri banks, we've got banks that are doing agriculture lending, community lending, business lending, they're doing consumer lending. They're very diversified. So rather than seeing some kind of concentration in one area or sector, we've got banks that are supporting the needs of their communities around the state. With lots of farms, rural communities, but also metro areas, banks provide services to an everyday person instead of mainly venture capitalist companies. Nathan Mauck is a finance professor at UMKC and says that banks are solid in Missouri. He says the two big collapses aren't going to be a norm that we see. This is more um, of a product of interest rates going up and banks can manage that. Even if they're not, our deposits are safe because of FDIC insurance. So uh, there's no reason to panic, no reason to try to get money out of a bank. Reporting from Columbia, Ethan Hines, ABC 17 News. Hathaway believes that the Silicon Valley bank collapse led to this signature bank collapse in New York due to panic. He says people started to fear they wouldn't be able to get their money.